Hey, this is Tracy O'Connell. I'm totally laughing because I just went on live and told my son not to and come in my room. And then as soon as I went live, he called me. Um, anyway, uh, I have never done a Instagram live before, but I was inspired today. Um, whether you are an adult or a teenager, but you're struggling with identity, you are my audience today. Um, hey friends, I just wanted to share something that maybe y'all have heard of before, but it's always a good reminder and it's going to be a little combination of Gabor Mate, who is a trauma expert, and evolutionary biology. And so I wanted to share this concept about what we need for survival. There are two basic needs we must have to meet, we must meet in order to survive, and they are attachment and authenticity. And what's really cool is I love Gabor Mate's definition of authenticity, which is the connection we have to ourselves. So we're talking about attachment, connection to others, and authenticity, connection to the self. And so he describes uh, the earlier in the evolutionary spectrum, if you wanna start with say reptiles, reptiles do not attach. So you've got the baby snake and the mama snake and the eggs hatch and they go on their way. I don't even know how long the hibernarium or the baby snakes were in their shells, how long that sticks around. But anyway, the once the, the baby snakes hatch, it's adios, right? There's no connection still between the mother reptile and the infant reptile. So when we get to higher species like birds, the avian, uh, what do we call it, kingdom? Gotta go look back at my biology terms. But anyway, we get to forming attachment where birds will attach to their youth, their young, um, either in the, they have, they obviously sit on the um, eggs and warm them and then even have to help them escape the shell by pecking at the shell. And so there's an immediate connection that the mother bird knows, and maybe the father bird, I don't know that much about birds, are connected to the infant. And when the baby birds are born, they are nurtured and they are brought worms and they are given warmth and they are taught how to fly. And when it's time to leave the nest, they do so. And there's a connection there. And so in order to survive, they have to have these healthy attachments. And they also need to develop a connection to the self, which is when they're ready to leave the nest to know what's okay and what's not okay. And what we find is that as we get higher up the kingdoms uh, into the ma mammals and into humans, it takes longer and longer for this connection we have to ourselves to develop and to break the connections we have to others. And ideally, we don't have to choose. Ideally, we don't have to choose between our attachments to those that we love and are our caregivers and who we really are. But obviously there are plenty of places we see in society where this is not the case. And people who are not loved for who they are or don't feel safe showing up as who they are do not feel a safe connection to themselves or they risk connecting to themselves and losing the attachments to those that they love or depend upon. And oftentimes we also get attached to things like money or greed or jobs that are not healthy for us, people, relationships, um, maintaining family connections that are not healthy, certainly toxic work cultures, um, religion. These are attachments that make us feel like they're necessary for survival, but can actually be detrimental to our survival. And sometimes we're even forced to choose between our attachments and our identity with ourselves. And this is very dangerous. This is very dangerous territory because ideally we won't have to choose. We can really be who we are and be accepted by our environments. But what is sad and statistically true is oftentimes we will abandon our authenticity, our connection to ourselves in order to maintain or achieve attachment with others that don't acknowledge who we really are or accept us for who we really are. 
And this might seem like a survival instinct, and it is on a very basic level, but in order to thrive and have sustainable well-being, we have to maintain that authentic connection to self. So that's what I'm all about. That's my jam, right? And I'm working with kids, youth, teens, young adults, and up and through adulthood and beyond, seniors, um, who really struggle with their identity and figuring out how to show up as themselves in cultures, families, job circumstances, any type of attachments that we have that are not healthy, and how to maintain and prioritize that connection to self over the connection to other things so that we don't abandon ourselves. Because when we abandon ourselves, we really abandon that survival instinct that keeps us safe for the long term. So just wanted to pop on a little light noontime conversation with you guys. Um, I am saying hello to all of you who have joined and super appreciate it. And yeah, keep in touch. Take care.